There's a substance that we tend to take for granted these days, but it's a genius discovery that can be found in many of the things that we use in our everyday lives. It's in our toasters, our saucepans, our cutlery, and in our hot water tanks. This versatile substance has stamped our mark on the world, but its success belongs to one city, Sheffield, and one man who the city will never forget. His name was Harry Brearley, and he's clearly something of a legend here in Sheffield. That's because Harry discovered something that would change the world forever, and I've come to the exact spot where he came up with it. So what was he working on when he made this discovery? You've got to remember this is pre-First World War, so it was 1912-ish, and what they wanted to do was make rifles and gun barrels that wouldn't rust. Because okay. so, the idea of you know a, a bullet getting stuck blows the barrel up and hurts the wrong person. Right. And by experimenting with various combinations of, of uh, iron and chromium and carbon, he came up with this metal that had this property of being rustless. One August day in 1913, Harry Brealey had a eureka moment. He spent months sweating away trying to create this elusive rustless steel. He was at the point of giving up and tossed his latest experiment into a horse trough. Famously, he's supposed to have stuck it in a horse trough just around the corner. Left it there for a week. A shiny metal lying in the water caught his eye. The piece of metal he was holding was rustless. It was a life-changing moment. Harry had added just the right amount of chromium to steel to essentially surround the metal with an anti-corrosive film. It's a very thin layer and under the right conditions can also be self-repairing. It didn't rust. That's why they called it stainless. Ah, so this is stainless steel. Stainless what we steel. call stainless what steel we call, now. What we now call stainless steel was discovered here in Sheffield. In a, in a horse trough. In a... <laughs> It was indeed an incredible discovery, but initially, people just didn't see the point of it. Undeterred, Harry had yet another stroke of genius. The people of Sheffield are famous for manufacturing fine cutlery. So he asked his cutlery-making mates to try out his new metal. And they loved it. Stuart Mitchell is still making stainless steel knives here today. OK, so we're making knives, we're making cutlery here in Portland Works, which is where it first began. Yeah, it was made in the same workshops. Quite incredible. This is really. Can we see one? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. This On the bench there you'll see a couple in, very, in well, the early stages of manufacture. Okay. You can see a finished version. Finished product. Wow. Fully finished and engraved. And there's a quote here from Harry Brealey. Uh, Nobody was impressed with my suggestion. Perhaps the idea of producing a steel which would not corrode sounded ridiculous. <laughs> it's a good quote. Very happy with the quote, yeah. As soon as I found it, I knew that was the one. It wasn't long before the whole of Sheffield heard about this stainless steel stuff and everyone was making cutlery from it. Sheffield's population shot up. Workers flocked here from all over Britain and the city made its fortune. Finally, I get a chance to craft my own bit of stainless steel. My first serrated knife, probably my last as well. Once stainless steel cutlery had been established, people realised something that didn't rust could be used for all sorts of things, from sinks and saucepans to engines and surgical instruments. And, and that's it now, so stainless steel is around the world, it's, you, you, you can't go anywhere without seeing stainless steel, it's not just cutlery, it doesn't just save us hours of, of polishing our cutlery, it's also used in, in cars, in planes, in space rockets even. Absolutely. It's, it goes into space, this it, stuff. Yeah. All it's discovered here. All discovered here in Sheffield. Wow. It's fantastic.